All right, hello everybody, and uh, welcome to the DSA showcase here of the untitled Goose Game Any Percent Glitch List. Uh, we have two runners today here racing. It is uh, Tasselfoot and Ninten. Ninten is currently the uh, world record holder with a 1552, I believe. And uh, uh, 1551. Is in second place. Yeah, and Tasselfoot is in second place with a uh, 1624 currently, but I believe he recently PB'd with a 1553. Yes, that's uh, correct. Just not verified yet. So, uh, yeah, basically the uh, any percent version of this game is all clips, and uh, so we're not going to be seeing any of that. We're going to be seeing basically a lot of uh, AI manipulation, kind of, and basically just hoping for the best positions in RNG possible here for the best run. And it looks like we're about to be uh, getting underway here in a second. So do we uh, do we do like a roll call or something or? Wait, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we can. Oh, okay. I didn't know if we should do a roll call or whatever. Oh uh, sure, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, hi guys, my name is Aquana. Um, I'll be one of the commentators here. I run primarily hundred percent. Uh, 100 and uh, we also have Daka. Yeah, and uh, I'm a any percent glitches runner of this game. And uh, looks like here we're going to be starting off with the garden. Basically, here we're going to be hoping that the uh, gardener starts in a really good position so we can get. Uh, basically, we have to do a few tasks in each zone. And uh, in this zone, it requires getting the gardener wet, stealing his keys, and making him wear a new hat. So we're going to see the runners try to manipulate him near these few objects to get those tasks done as fast as possible. The gardener can also start in like seven or eight different positions and it's better to have him start pretty close to like by the sprinkler. So when you turn on the sprinkler, he can get wet immediately. That's probably like the best RNG that you can get in basically any category that isn't any percent. Yeah, now both runners here having a pretty good uh pretty good starting phase and they're going to try to hide the hat here in this patch so they can drag the rake all the way out uh Ooh, you have to drag looks like this tasselfoot's rake having a little outside. bit of trouble with the gardener oh, dancing yeah, he's with him really a little struggling bit. to get the rake out yeah so the uh the npcs have a little like a level of priority um for example uh the gardener there like as soon as you're not holding an item like you he won't aggro towards you and he'll like just kind of go towards whatever it is he like, needs to go to for example when he goes to his sun hat he'll like try to prioritize that sun hat if you're not near him so you'll be able to get away with moving the rake uh in a way that's like actually kind of close by to him and sort of dangerous and it looks like both of them are about ready to uh escape the gardens here and both of them did have a little issue with getting the rake out. The gardener did notice them, so that slowed them down a little bit. So both of them are going to have an exit time, though, of around uh, two minutes uh, and 25 seconds. 225-ish. So. Now we're entering and, uh, High Street. Uh, this is the boy. I, I call him Bobby. <laughs> he doesn't actually have a name, but uh, he is known as Wimpy Kid in the, in the uh, game's credits. So... Here we trap him in the phone booth, give him uh, psychological torture, and then we're going to put the plane on the shelf so the shopkeeper can sell it. And both the runners getting a uh, pretty decent RNG with the shopkeeper here being on the right side. That means we'll be able to steal these glasses that they need to uh, have the boy wear. To uh, Basically, it'll make sure that NPC sees the plane so the boy can buy it. If the NPC doesn't see the plane, uh, this, he'll just never ever buy it, so he'll just be able to go over there, pick it up, and start playing with it. Which we need him to buy an item back from the shopkeeper, so it's very important that the shopkeeper notices that the plane is hers. Speaking of the shopkeeper, um, like I said before about the priority, she will always go for her, uh, broom before she starts to chase you, so that's a really good way to kind of, uh, maneuver around her, and, like, if you're stealing something from her shop, like he, like, Nintendo stole the glasses, 
Um, I don't think that she noticed him steal the glasses, but if she did, she would have gone for her broom first, giving Ninten a little bit of a uh, better chance to get away. And Tassel having some real trouble there. Uh, the shopkeeper actually pushing the boy away from the position he needs to get into to call the shopkeeper and drug mm -hmm. her all the way to the left side. And unfortunately, once she's in this space to talk to him, she'll only slow walk, so you can't actually make her run. So Nintendo's going to have a little bit of a lead here because of that, because he actually had very nice uh, AI control. Yeah, he did. Um, also, this particular exchange is very, very unique because during, um, like, while I'm, I'm, for the sake of argument, I'm calling, Bo I'm going to call him Bobby, but when he goes to buy his, when Bobby goes to buy his plane, uh, a shopkeeper will drop basically everything she's doing, including, like, if you, like, are, even if you stand in front of her with an item in your mouth, she will not aggro towards you. She'll just drop everything she's doing and proceed to, uh, buy, you know, get the plane from, or give the plane to Bobby after he pays for it. So, it's a good way to kind of do other things while, uh, in, in other categories. We do that in 100%, uh, definitely. Here we are in back gardens, and uh, we are introduced to uh, two of the most inconsistent characters in the game, Roger and Tina. Roger is our uh, sweater-clad gentleman here. We're just going to mess with him a bunch, steal his paper and his slipper. We steal his paper because his newspaper reading animation is very, very long. Uh, so, uh, one of the missions, uh, one of the tasks specifically require him to be drinking his tea and his newspaper animation can take up to 20 seconds yeah so this is basically where uh this is the first level where cycles really become important so we're basically waiting on roger to now go over to sip his tea here on nintendo screen so we can steal his flipper and then from here he'll be able to take the rest of these items that we need to bring over to the ladies yard so she can dress this bus so basically this is uh a lot of back and forth between the yards to get these missions done. Mm -hmm. And uh, this AI can be really, really funky because they need to interact with each other a lot of the times, which can really, really slow them down. So you want to have... Especially like, when it comes to the vase. Time. The vase is probably the biggest way that uh, the that this run can be slowed down because uh, there's a chance that after the vase breaks, the uh, Tina will like scream at Roger and like that can waste up to probably 10 seconds. So, you want to be very careful with that. Yeah. And here's another thing, too. Uh, this goose, this, like, goose statue here. Um, it can also be pretty finicky because Tina sometimes will see the goose. Uh, and if she sees the goose, then, you know, you're basically done for. But uh, you hide the goose there, the goose statue there. And then you want to try to lure Tina towards uh, the bow in a way that uh, she will notice the goose is missing and you have to try to take the goose's place without her, like, without her noticing it's you. So it's... Yeah, and Ninten just missed the, uh, making the old man spit his coffee yep, cycle there. I saw so that's that. gonna cost him a mm -hmm. big, big chunk of time there. Also, Tasselfoot's doing an interesting strat. I don't know if we noted, I don't know if we, like, kind of commentated on or glossed over it at all. But uh, what he did is he actually took an extra pair of glasses from the shop in High Street and took it with him to Back Gardens to uh, prevent him from needing to take the uh, take Roger's glasses. So um, I don't think that's a strat that Nintendo does yet. So that was a strat. Yeah, that, no, that is believe... actually a, that's probably an exclusive strat to Tasselfoot right now and any yeah, percent glitches because yeah, that's the first time I'm seeing it as well. Yep, uh, I think Ritz was the first person to do that strat in a run yesterday. So uh, Tasselfoot's kind of demonstrating that right now. And he's going to try his best to uh, lure Tina over to this bow. This can be really, really finicky, like I said. You have to have really, yeah, really good... sometimes she just uh... doesn't want to pick it up. Exactly. And if she notices you sit on that statue at all, it'll take... Yeah, he's having a really hard time with her. Mm, yeah, Nintendo's kind of struggling here. Uh, they're both actually kind of struggling here, but then again, uh, like, yeah, back gardens. They're both is... having the argument with the bell. Yep. <laughs> back, like I said, back gardens is literally the most inconsistent area of pretty much any category that isn't any percent. Yeah, and now due to this, unfortunately, there's not much they can do but wait. 
Okay, Ninten did get dressed up with the ribbon successfully, so we have that. Uh, Tasselfoot is having a little bit of trouble here because now she is going to scratch her head and lose five seconds to here. Oh, I think he's got it. Yep. Yeah, that should be good. Once she there turns go. around, it's normally okay. Yep. Yeah, the AI now, is now really finicky, go. but sometimes it's also really generous. <laughs> All right, I think Nenten's going to be the first out of here. He just broke the vase. That will aggro Roger to remove the rose sign from behind his rose, or from in front of his rose, and place it in front of his gate. So the second he does that, he's going to drag the rose over so that Tina can clip it. Uh, but yeah. it looks like, I don't, I think she started clipping it before he could move it, so I don't know if she's going to finish clipping yeah, it here. Yeah, she's going to have to, he's going to have to go back. Oh no. It's actually oh. good, yeah. And yeah, yeah. I did also want to note what uh, Aqua mentioned earlier is that you notice they all brought the vase over last. So that actually avoids an argument that the yes. uh, NPCs have to have. Because Roger will instantly just go to this vase, uh, go to this flower, so you can just instantly pull it down. So it actually saves a lot of time with that. And speaking of saving a lot of time, um, you can avoid... There's also another argument that they could have after Roger's rose gets, uh, gets cut off. Uh, as soon as she trims the rose, if you lure her over to the back fence, uh, like both of them just did, um, she'll avoid that completely, and she'll prioritize this hole in the wall, which is what we use to escape. And that's actually a really nice uh, strategy to use, is luring NPCs with items to make them run instead of just slow walk to their task. Because, uh, as we mentioned earlier, they do have a priority list. So if you drop an item right in front of them, and they have a very higher priority task on their list, they'll instantly forget that you could have picked up that item and start doing the uh, more important task. Even and, if they uh, lose the ribbon, the pub, even if they lose the ribbon now, it's not a big deal. Uh, so now they're entering the pub, and uh, here's the burly man. He's our he's our bouncer here, but uh, he can be tripped up just like the boy. And here we have the old man. He can be very, very inconsistent um, because the old man starts in different cycles, just like the gardener. And there's two different tasks that require the old man in the pub, uh, both of which require, both of which are different activities that he can do. One of them is uh, one of them you do when he's playing the harmonica. One of them you do when he's playing darts. Uh, and uh, Tasselfoot very wisely interrupted his harmonica playing, yep. so he could uh, get the it's score out from It's actually faster. Him. It's actually faster if you um, if you interrupt the harmonica playing and you have him notice you. He'll look at you for like two seconds and then he'll go right back to what he's doing. If you try to hide, he'll just kind of sit there and scratch his head, which w actually wastes more time. And now hopefully when you see both runners run outside there of the pub to break the glass, the plan is now to be able to make it all the way back to this old man right before he uh, throws this dart. Yeah, so we're on a very strict done. cycle here with the old man. Okay, here he is. And it looks like Tasselfoot's both runners got made it. it. Yeah, Tasselfoot's got it. So now break the dartboard is done. And I believe... All right, the only thing that Tasselfoot has to do now is get the toy boat, which it looks like both of them are actually doing now. Uh, Ninten just got the toy boat. I think he might be done. Yep, all right, he's he's about to be finished with the pub. Oh, he's he's dancing with the, He's dancing yeah, he's with He's really the pub dancing owner. there with both the NPCs. Oh, this is not good. This is not yeah, good. Ninten's Nintendo. in a bad spot here cuz uh, he's being oh yeah, he's being gate kept pretty badly here. Yeah, he needs to get back up there and turn off the water to save himself some time too. Mhm. Mm oh, it looks like he already did that. Okay. Yeah, because yes. if he doesn't do that, if you don't turn off the water here, um like I said like I said before, the priority will trigger and um her priority is to turn off the sink before anything else, but now Tasselfoot has a lead. Uh, Tasselfoot has the old, uh, has the pub lady right where he wants her, and now he's luring, uh, uh you know what, for sake of argument, I'm gonna call him Vinny, because he looks like a Vinny. Uh, he's gonna lure Vinny towards the back, put a tomato on the ground to give him something to do. Hopefully, the bar lady won't get in the way, and she didn't, so that's good. Um, yeah, Tasselfoot's got a pretty solid lead now. He actually came from behind and is doing very well, and Ninten is uh, really is struggling, struggling really now. bad, yeah. yeah Luckily, is... he's able to get around there. This Vinny... part can actually be a little bit difficult, too, because you have to honk to make sure the burly man makes it back here, and Ninten might be a little... 
a little yeah, slow Vinny, here because if he doesn't Vinny's make it up to that Nintendo bucket in the time. Business here. Yeah, if Nintendo does not make it up to this bucket in time to hit it on the burly man's head, that could be a really big time Ooh, loss. Looks there like it is. Okay, it he though. got it. All right, Tasselfoot's about to enter. And Tasselfoot's oh, about to oh, exit. No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tasselfoot. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, this is bad. This is, this really, is really bad. bad. This could give, He's getting this could pushed give all Nintendo the way out. the lead. This could give Nintendo the lead. We'll see. All right. Oh, it's going to be close. See, what you want to do here, I believe, as soon oh, as the Burly wow. Man... They're neck and neck now. Off. They are actually yeah, neck and neck. This yeah, 1412 exit, both of them. This is ridiculous. <laughs> we got a really close race now. So now we're in the uh, stretch, the end stretch of the game here where we're going to run through the miniature village. Well, we're actually not going to run through it because for some reason the game just allows us to step right on top of this fence and over it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're actually just able to then step right over it again once we grab this bell. And then uh, this is basically the end of the game where we want to grab this bell from this tower. We're going to tear it down and we have to run it all the way back to the tutorial area where we started. This means we have to run this bell which rings past all of those NPCs that were very annoying originally. And uh, hopefully they don't steal it and bring it back to a... Basically, they all have a starting position in their area to where we'll bring the bell back to. Yeah. And before you guys uh, before you guys ask uh, if this is allowed in Glitchless, it is. Because you could you can actually do this without an item in your... You know, without an item in your... Yeah, this week. requires no spamming of any buttons or anything. It simply is just stepping on top of the fence. The ground is just too elevated there. It was just a simple oversight, I believe. Ooh, I think Nintendo's got it rough here. Both maybe. of them actually. He has a really nice exit there, actually. Oh nope. I maybe, maybe. Yeah, they, he's gonna he's make got, it out here. Yeah, he's gonna make it. Yeah. He's gonna make it. Tasselfoot's not too far behind. He's right behind him as well. Yeah, Tasselfoot had a little bit of trouble with the burly man and had to honk him to uh, drag him in a direction. And that's one thing we didn't really mention. If you can, if you honk, you'll confuse NPCs if they don't see you, and they'll kind of scratch their heads and uh, roam and look for you. Which allows you like a little bit of circumstances. All right, I think I think Nintendo. Oh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Is he gonna do it? Oh, he made it. He made it through, past yeah. Tina. Wow. All right, Pass there he goes. Past well. Roger. Good, good. Uh, ooh, Roger's that not really in a good. good Roger's oh, not in a good spot for, for Tassel. That's yeah. That was really awful. Oh, having a good exit, though. Hope you guys Lord like the really sound nice of bells, by the way. <laughs> You're going to be hearing it for the next uh, 30 seconds or more. Oh, the shopkeeper is in a great position as well yep. as the other lady. That's really good and for him. Even and though, even though the goose has the bell, uh, the shopkeeper still prioritizes getting her broom over getting the bell. And the boy tries to get the bell, but we can, you know, psychological torture. You can just honk at the boy, and he is <laughs> very, very scared of the goose. Oh yeah, we we've given him some severe PTSD. Now Nintendo's had a really Ooh, nice run. Yeah, that's a really good gardener. That's a really good gardener. So the gardener maybe he didn't even there. need to like maneuver around. That was really nice. Let's see what as let's we'll see, see on Tassel's Tassel screen. For. Tassel's actually gonna have a pretty good. There gardener we go. Too. Yeah, yeah, the he's got it. Runner is a very nice gardener, but unfortunately for Tassel, I don't think there's anything he can do to get. No, it, I think it's over. If Tassel, if Tassel was a little bit more patient with, uh, like, waiting yeah, for Vinny exit. to open up the, uh, open up the, the, the path to Model Village, he might have had this race. And a GG to Ninten with a 17.20. And Tasselfoot's and gonna finish with a 17.33. Or 34. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's still pretty GGs close. Both runners. GG. And that yeah, so just, is that's untitled goose game any percent glitchless. Both runners having uh very close back art gardens, which really uh really brought them together with the sim similar RNG and everything. All right, we got our uh, runners coming in here now. How you hey, doing, guys? Up? Oh wow, that was that was closer than I thought it that was. That was really yeah. close. So <laughs> a few things. You guys both had some pretty messy pubs, but uh, Ninten, you had a really rough go of things there for a while. What happened? Oh, yeah, Andy Garden. So pretty much what Some happened was um, I think the guy right, who had the coffee our, uh, was like on a really weird now. cycle. So I didn't get to the bell in time when I was trying to make him spit it out. Or the tea, I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the, 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 um, the woman in that uh, back garden also noticed the... 
the goose statue and she didn't pick it up somehow so i'm really lucky that she didn't go for that yeah that, that was uh that was very very um that was very lucky like i wasn't sure how either of you were gonna get the ribbon yeah. to work but you guys did and then uh tassel like you were actually in the lead uh like towards the end of pub like you had the pub lady going to where you wanted her to you were just a little bit too impatient in waiting for uh, again i'm i'm just gonna unofficially call him yeah Vinny. Because uh, you, yeah. yeah, you were just a little too impatient, waiting for him to lift the uh, to lift the dumpster lid. Oh, he probably yeah, had a I solid was... ten to fifteen second lead at that point because uh, Nintendo did. was really struggling with getting did. the lady to do anything. I, yeah, I, I had no. a, I had a great pub. That was that was the only part that felt like it went well for me. And then yeah, and then I just I uh, I went I went too early. What what can you say? Uh, yeah. Bad RNG on the bell return as well from from some of the npcs just not yeah not your roger you your really roger was really really bad time. both of you had really good yeah. gardeners uh but like tasselfoot had really bad roger rng he was just like he was actually gatekeeping yeah so that was well, really I'm, awful i was i was nintendo i was expecting you to have like to to blow me out by a minute minute and a half with the type of run that i just <laughs> oh. had I'm, I'm glad that we both Dude. suffered a little bit uh, yeah, both of you had incredibly bad back gardens rng well. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i know yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was actually it was, really it was looking as pretty well, dicey there the, for a uh, while with the uh, plane getting the lady to get into the position to buy the oh plane. Oh my god! Yeah, that. I oh uh, I tried she was to block in. Yeah, she was blocking. She was and blocking she, the boy and everything. Oh yeah, it felt it felt like and I and even the uh, the gardener at the beginning, um, he was having some issues on his pathing to get to his, yeah. his find his hat. It just it was. I mean, honestly, for anyone watching who like wants to run this game, um, be be. It's it's fun. It's super fun, but be prepared for uh, some really frustrating AI. Yeah, there was actually a point in Nintendo's back garden where Tina was literally just standing there, stomping her foot with no emotion over her head or anything, just angry. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, and if you guys really want to suffer, run Hundo. <laughs> So yeah, I noticed in my back garden I had the pipe waiting there, and Tina just completely ignored it. And I'm like, "Oh God, what am I? What's what is going on?" Yeah, you on had here? to physically bring it to her. Yeah. So yeah, it's the the AI is is unfriendly at times, but I think we're I think we're doing a good job of learning as a community, kind of like how to properly manipulate it, and it, and that's only going to get better as the game is out for longer. Yeah, I would say a big part of the run is also just reacting to whatever the AI does because it's never going to go perfect every time. A lot of it's reactionary and just knowing what they're going to do with whatever action you do. Yeah, if you would have been to a second faster on that bell, that could have been an entirely different back gardens for you. Mm-hmm. For sure. So, oh, well, I, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm. thank you, GSA, for... Yeah, thank you for to, to show thank this you off. for like the this last minute showcase here. We I hope we can and a big shout out to Relkit too, too for setting it up. Run Hundo, guys! We need more Hundo runners. I need more competition. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's a Discord for a um, Antara Goose Speedrunner. Yeah, yeah, team. go go uh, go join the Discord, guys! Definitely. So uh, like, yeah, there's I think a lot of really awesome people in there. They're very helpful. If you guys, if you for whatever reason want to torture yourself and run any percent, uh, you know, people are more than happy to help you learn the the tricks and the glitches and you know all that stuff. And we're all really cool. So. We all honk a lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think someone will link to the Discord. Uh, we know we got 60, uh, 64, 70 star coming up next. Hope you guys enjoy that, and hope you enjoyed this. Yeah, it was yeah nice. big thanks for hosting us, guys. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah thank, thank you, GSA. For having us. I guess one last thing I'd like to say is honk. 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 And GG to the runners, too. Good race, guys. Thanks. Thank you.